This week we're going to introduce a, an important new programming concept. It's very important in programming to have the ability to write a piece of code that you can call and run as many times as you want. I'm going to show you a really simple example of this. We're going to make the dragon flap his wings. Then we're going to be able to call it and have him flap his wings as many times as we want whenever we want. So to do that, you're actually going to go into where it says class my scene and we're going to declare a procedure. You'll notice we already have procedures, but we can declare our own. And we're going to declare the flap wing procedure. Make sure not to have any spaces in the name. When we do this, we can have the dragon do things. And we're just going to start by having, we're going to select the left wing, and we'll just start by rolling the left wing right 0.25. Now this isn't going to work, but I'm going to show you what happens. When I run it, nothing happens. Because it's a separate procedure, we have to call it like any other existing procedure would be called. So we have to go into the run, which is our main method, and this organizes all of the logic for the program. So we could call a bunch of different procedures, either existing procedures or procedures that we create. To find our procedure, we have to go to the scene, and we'll see that we have the flap wing statement. Now if I run it, it's going to call our flap wing code, and let's give it a try. Okay, it does it. It's not what I want it to do, but it shows that it is working. So we don't actually want it to roll right. We actually want it to roll left, and probably about half of what it did. So let's try that. So we're going to run that again. Okay, that's about what I want. Now what should actually happen is the wings should flap at the same time. So let's do a do together. And inside of the do together, we'll do a do an order. And we will first have the drag and roll left. I'm on a Mac, I'm holding the Alt key down. That's copying it then we're going to have to have it return to roll right, the same amount. Let's test that. Good, that's one wing flap. Now we can actually copy this so that we have a do together, and here we want to change it from left wing to right wing. And we want to change the direction to right, and then to left. Again, not very complicated, but we can run it more than once. Now I'm going to add a parameter to this. The parameter is going to be times. This will tell me how many times I flap the wing. And we're going to make it an integer and hit OK. Now it gave us a warning because if I tried to run it right now, I will get an error in theory. It's not accepting the number of times, it's just running it once. I need to go back to my run area, and here I have to tell it how many times to flap. So I can change it to flap 3, let's double check that. Oh yes, I need to have, I actually need to do a count so I can apply the times and then I need to put this in it. Okay, now in my run section I'm telling it to call flap wing and I'm passing it a variable that I will call times and that's going to tell it to run three times. Now we can call that multiple times. We can then return to our run area, and we can have a do together. So let's say he flaps his wings, and then we want him to rise into the air. So we'll choose the dragon, and we're going to choose move up two meters. Now ideally we want this to happen while he's flapping his wings. So we'll now 
have him do this while flapping his wings two times. So this is the entire point of having a procedure. It's to have code that you can call more than once from the program. So now we're going to run it and we're running the flap wing procedure twice. So he's going to flap his wings three times and then he's going to move into his, the air while still flapping his wings. I want you to expand upon this program. Make sure that you're backed out far enough that you can see him. I want him to come forward while flapping his wings, turn, fly in a circle while flapping his wings, then land. You should also incorporate at the same time, and I want them as separate procedures. I want his head to move back and forth slightly, or either back and forth or up and down, and I want his tail to move back and forth slightly. So incorporate all of those things.